Hello everyone, uh, this is Gaurav and welcome to 100GB. Uh, I hope this is not the first time that you are checking out my channel, but if it is, do check out my other videos as well. Whatever I am going to do in this video, this is not what I uh, do regularly. I am a software engineer and I mostly talk about things related to engineering. But since eventually I am going to work on a computer, uh, I thought of building one. So the uh, inception of this idea dates back to the time I was in my 8th standard, give or take. Well at that time, I had this in the back of my mind that somewhere, sometime in the future, I am going to build a gaming PC. Uh, well, since then my horizons have expanded. So finally after what 13 or 14 years, I am uh, gonna build a PC not only catered to gaming, but a few other use cases as well. So without wasting any time, let's quickly do a run through uh, of all the components that I'm gonna use. Ah, so the case. This is a mini ITX case from Fractal Design. The model is Note 202. Okay, since this is a mini IDX case, and AMD has already launched the Zen 3 architecture CPUs, the only option for the motherboard that I could basically get in India was this one, the Aorus Pro AX B550i. Uh, for the storage, I'm using uh, the Kingston M2 SSD. It's the A2001. Uh, I guess they promise read and write speeds uh, somewhere around 1600 Mbps, I'm not very sure, but uh, as far as the memory is concerned, I'm using two units of uh, 3000 megahertz, 16 gigs RAM. Uh, well, the CPU, so here we have the new budget king, Ryzen 5600X. For the cooler, I went with the Noctua low profile L9A cooler. So actually I saw a couple of people using uh, this cooler for the Ryzen 3700X in the same case and the results were kind of okay, not very promising though, but still um, I guess it, it fits my use case. Let's go to the GPU then. Are you ready for it? NVIDIA RDX 3070. Well, yes, these cards, they do exist. It's not a dream. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, now let's quickly check out the cooling solutions. For the air intake, I'm using two Noctua uh, NF F12 fans. These two fans will be pulling the ambient air inside and pushing it down on the GPU. And as far as the exhausts are concerned, I'm using uh, two units of the Noctua A4 fans. Uh, these are the 40mm ones. So these will be sitting on the top of the uh, case and basically pulling the hot air from inside of the case and throwing it outside. Finally, let's get to the power supply. Uh, well, uh, if you are from India, you know the small form factor power supply options that you have here are pretty restricted. So all I could get was SF600. Uh, yeah, so I don't have any plans to overclock either CPU or GPU. I think this, is go this should be sufficient for this build. And we are done with all of the components. Without wasting any time, let's begin. Okay, let's take a quick pause over here. So I have like uh, wired up all the components, but I haven't actually placed the components in their uh, respective compartments. So we'll try to do a test run, just to make sure that there isn't any faulty component, and then we will proceed ahead with the build. Okay, let's try to connect it with the monitor and see if uh, things turn up. All right. I've connected the power 
All right, let's try to turn it on. The moment of truth. Okay, so the CPU fan has started. I can see the lights. And even the GPU has started. Okay. Ah. Boom. So there you go. So our RAM has been detected. Obviously the CPU has been detected as well. The GPU is working fine, only then we are able to see the display. Uh, our SSD is also detected and things are looking perfect. Okay, I guess now it's time to go back to the hyperlapse mode and uh, put all the components inside the case. Hey guys, so uh, I hope everything is ready. I'm gonna connect the monitor and keyboard with uh, the system and let's see how it goes. Hey, by the way, I just realized that I forgot to uh, switch on the power supply switch and for this case, it happens to be inside. I used some Jugaad and finally did it. Okay, let's begin. A few moments later. I basically did nothing. I just turned it off and turned it on again and it worked. By the way, I also plan to make another video uh, regarding all the uh, analytics and uh, the geeky numbers for this build. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, I hope you like this video. Do give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. How long will it take now? Bye.